Well, first order of what we do business, um, back through the hole. See you later, shitlord. Vault 19. Well, at least we found out that vault they were hiding in. Right, how do we go through here? Utility. Well, this is the commons room. It just leads straight to this place. So what happens if we go back through here? Okay, let's check out this section. Uh oh! Christ. There goes all my fucking rounds. Uh, maybe the sawn off can be used. Okay, the sawn off ain't great. It ain't great at all. <laughs> oh fuck. Oh fuck. Eddie? Never mind, I'll just do it myself. something to destroy the ca the vault. Always handy to know. All mine. Uh oh. Okay. Anything more? So this leads back All through mine. that power plant. Eat this. Excellent. Systems. Should be more information about what happened to this place in here if none of these computers are still working. Alright, let's enter that creepy fucking hole. Oh dear lordy lordy lordy. Okay, that wasn't good. What are those explosions? That is an awful lot of explosions. Stimpak. Can't run from me. Okay, there's no way we can get through either of these positions. Red side and a blue side. Uh. Nope, I can't get through either of those. Alright, let's make our way through. I wish you wouldn't do that. Let's make our way back through the over to the overseer's office. Maybe we can figure out what happened to this place. And wipe out the rest of the power defenders whilst we're at it. Whoa! 
Whoa. Recover data. Fake medical records. Paranoia must be induced from non-violent and non-chemical means in order for the experiment to be considered a set success. Data corrupted. A group of technicians have been assigned to run the reactor. They are currently researching methods to improve the reactor efficiency. The reactor floor is fully staffed and completely self-sustained. The only access between the vault proper and the reactive level is through the elevator hidden under the desk in this room. Currently the password to open this passage is Hyacinth. Please change this password. Uh, data Corrupt has not been informed of the research being undertaken at lower level. Hmm. Psychoactive paranoia inducing chemicals. Two sections I can't get into. And god damn it, this is a lot of powder gangers. Whoa! Whoa! Have you read the logs on the computers? Fucked up shit. Yeah, trust me. Vaults are generally full of fucked up shit. Gentlemen's toilet. Ladies' toilets. Clinic. There's gotta be info in here. No. Instead, it's broken. Prim's got some new sheriffs watching over the town now. Take the doctor's bag, though. Patient data. We'll have that. Patient 658653, male 34. Patient brought in by the police. This is the ninth occurrence of such, and we are now seeking extended residence for patient within our facility. Male 31. Often misinterprets other actions as hostile, where he perceives he perceives friendly interactions with nurses as patronizing. We also notice that the, that the longer the other patients remain in contact, the more readily they are, they are to act aggressively towards him, due to his defensive nature, thus reinforcing his perceived hostilities. Yeah. There we go, more patient records. Female 24 came seeking treatment for panic attacks, placing claims too often extreme experience extreme moments of terror out of nowhere if I often wake from her sleep. Okay. So these people have begun I don't need that. Uh, never mind. Yeah, these people have begun psyching out at each other. More stim packs I'll take. Another patient record. A27 patient brought in by police. Patient claims to hear voices taunting him. Patient claimed that he at one point believed these voices were coming from his grandfather's radio. The patient now believes that the voices are coming from within himself more troops on the road and he is eager for help. Wonder what's up. There we go, another medical record. Male age 22, patient cl came to use came to use claiming to be insane. Patient claimed he would often get the feeling of being outside himself. This feeling was so intense that it would often cause the patient to be off balance during episodes. Navigation through the clinic often difficult for him to achieve without causing accidents. Alright, these are a wide variety of symptoms. A really wide variety of symptoms. Open blue sector door, no. Red sector door. Nope. Overseer's office. We're back here.
Right. How many overseers officers are there? Hello. Who the hell are you? I know you weren't one of the inmates. Let's go you so worked up. That coward Lim has been talking about surrendering to the NCR. Now the men are confused, not sure who's leading this gang. Fucking idiots. Who's Lim? He was an inmate like the rest of us. He was useful during the jailbreak, but now... He's just another coward. He wants us to leave the vault and hand our asses to the NCR. As if they treat us like human beings. Tell me about the prison bag. A beautiful thing. Saved a little blast powder here, hit a makeshift weapon there, and one day, I orchestrated a little symphony for the NCR. So what brought you to this place? Heard there was an abandoned vault along this mountain ridge. And that the wildlife here had teeth big enough to keep the NCR away. Why is the air so dangerous? It's a fucking death trap around here. Fiends swarm all over Vault 3 in the east, and there are fucking death claws south of that at Quarry Junction. If you're looking for humans, the cons are north of us, and there's an NCR base at McCarran past Vault 3. Supposedly, there are muties to the southeast. Tell me about the fiends. Like raiders, but worse. These guys are messed up on every damn Kim there is. You can spot them by the horn skulls they wear as hats. Tell me about Quarry Junction. The NCR has been mining there for a while, but now it's full of death claws. Don't go there unless you want a quick, bloody death. The muties? I've heard the muties there are different, completely insane, and supposedly they use some kind of invisibility technology. I'd stay away. Oh, I know those guys, don't worry. I cleared them out. And McCarran. It's the main base for the NCR, and a breeding ground for oppression in the name of patriotic bullshit. Do humanity a favor and blow it up. I will try. Why do you hate the NCR so much Their anyway? Their public is a joke. They're a bunch of tyrants led by an even greater tyrant, that idiot Kimball. They think they have the right to annex every inch of dirt in the West and force their system on every man, woman, and child. Well, let's talk about something else. What do you want to know? Tell me about Lem. He was an inmate like the rest of us. He had his uses. But he's a coward and a troublemaker. Well, let's talk about what something else again. Who are you exactly? You really don't know. I'm Samuel Cook. I was the brains behind the NCRCF prison break. How did you end up in prison? I was blowing up supply caravans along the 15 freeway. The NCR got wise to my ambush spots, picked me up and threw me in a cage. You know anything about this vault? Some of the computers still work. But the only files are diaries and garbage. Typical vault. Got any work? There's some fire geckos in the lower levels of the vault. We need to get them gone so we can get to the sulfur. You go clear them out for. Uh, I already took care of them. Good. Hey. Sure, what needs to be done? I want you to head to Red Rock Canyon north of here. Fine. Why do you want to join the Great Khan? There aren't enough of us here to make a real impact on the NCR. And the Khans probably hate the NCR more than we do. Strength in numbers, they say. So will you t Uh, maybe. Definitely not gonna do that. Maintenance. Well, Jesus, it still works. Now that is impressive. So this is the great vault that they're hidden. Where else are we? All the way over here. Good god. Alright, back down we go. Come on, people. Let's go talk to Lem. What the fuck? Why is there a big pile of gore there. 
What the hell happened? Uh oh. You eyeballing me? No. No, I am not, sir. That guy's got cold eyes. Lim was going to turn us all in to the NCR. I'm glad he's dead. Well, how is he dead? What happened to him? How did he die? Jesus. Okay, one of these guys has a car key. Blue sector. Fuck, he must have been splatted by the... Shit. Unless something came out and chomped him to death. Ooh, that's not good. I have accidentally killed the peace nick. Uh oh. Fuckers! Come on, get some. Phew. Awesome. Now we have card keys for both areas. Oh, and we don't really have to worry much about uh, fiends. Well, whatever the fuck these guys are. Minuke. Blue Sector. Hmm, laser rifle. We'll take that. And your energy cells. Thank you very much. And what else we got here? Ball caps. Uh oh. We'll just drop that. I'm going to find you. Can't run from Laser rifle, more energy cells. Me. Oh dear. Yeah. Come Let's see on. what's in the That's a good one. You just done. All mine. Eat this. Looks like we call them sleeping. Mmm, noodles. We'll have those. Okay, what we got? Toy box. Foot locker. Vault 19 suits. We'll have one of them. That reminds me, we need to give things to, uh, what's her face? It's not Sarah Weintraub, is it? Okay. Message from the Overseer. Greetings, residents. We regret to inform you that there is a problem with our water purification filters. We assure you that we are working diligently to fix this problem. However, until the filter has been fixed, please try to keep water usage limited and report directly to the clinic if you begin to feel ill in any way. 138. I've been reading the bulletin boards for months now. I believe we have a spy among us. One of the reds is pretending to be a blue. They are using bulletin boards to communicate. I believe they want me to see it. 
noticed one of the lights flickering past a door in Red's hallway. I believe it to be Morse code. From what I can tell, it's an SOS. Red's blues. Okay. Seeing interesting parallels here with what happened. I don't trust what that doctor is. She has bodyguards. What kind of doctor has bodyguards? I've seen the guards bringing her meals. I don't think she even le leaves her office. There's always one posted outside at night too. I wonder what she's hiding. I've been working with a friend. He's been trying to hack into a doc's computer and so far we haven't had much luck. It took some convincing but I finally got to sh him to show me what he found on a doc's computer. He was right. I wouldn't like it. The patient files look like those from an asylum. The patient names are all in code but some of them seem to fit the people around us. They can't be us. I don't remember being insane. I think I would remember something like that. But it must be true. It explains the doctor's behaviour and bodyguards. I don't know why I can't remember. It must be because that doctor. Maybe she drugged us. I need to get into that office. Holy shit. Maybe I am insane. Maybe this isn't happening. Maybe a war never happened. Maybe I'm just trapped inside my head. Took some doing, but a few of us got together and managed to distract the people in the clinic long enough for me to get in and do some looking around. I found restraints and enough sedatives to kill a horse. She must be using them to control us to make us forget. We're just pawns in her sick game. We confronted the doctor today. She refused to give us any information and we were thrown out of the clinic. Some of us quite literally. We tried talking to the overseer but, act but acted as if he didn't know anything about it. I don't believe him. I don't trust any of them. All mine. Alright, this must be the unwarranted paranoia and hostility we're talking about. Anybody there? A lot of children's toys. Come on. There we go. Some little note. Okay. Nothing that interesting. Two hundred nine. I couldn't sleep in a few nights ago, so I stayed at running reading about one thirty in the morning but went to the vent above my head began to push out more air than usual. It lasted for about five minutes and turned off. I don't, did not think much about it the last time, but I had trouble falling asleep again last night. Once again around 1.30, the vents turned on for about five minutes and then turned off. I've been getting he headaches. I think someone is poisoning us. I've been up every night this week, night and after night. An extra boost of air comes through vents. It lasts for about five minutes and then turns off. I spoke to one of the neighbours and he said he noticed the same thing in his room. As well, he made a report to a maintenance officer. He informed us that the system was running perfectly and there was nothing to worry about. I don't believe it. Okay, so those vault vents must be pumping in psychoactive chemicals. Which is causing these people to go crazy cakes. A lot of gumdrops. Let me see. Plenty of bottle caps. Vault 19 living quarters. Uh, hello? Hi, are you there? Oh, right. Hi. You can't respond. Listen, I'm using your robot as a relay to get this message to you. Please don't. I picked up some unusual chatter regarding your robot. It seems that it has some information that we could use. Oh, wait, where are my manners? This is Lorenzo, a knight with the Brotherhood of Steel. We'd be very interested in examining your tech. Could you bring your robot to one of our patrols so they can examine it? I'll have the robot mark the location on your map. Fuck that, no. Woo! I'm not giving the Brotherhood of Steel my robot. All mine.
Okay, what else do we have in here? Toy box. Don't think there's anything up here. Okay, now we're getting to bloodstains. Floor safe, what do you contain? Nothing useful. I think they're in my head. Sometimes I hear thoughts not of my own. I think Reds have done something to the intercom system, rigged it somehow to broadcast into our brains. What does it mean? And why is there a blue star under my bottle cap? Are the reds behind this? Is this part of a mind control? They must be making me see things now. Things that shouldn't be there. The star shouldn't be there. Why do I see a star? It won't go away. No matter how long I close my eyes, it won't go away. I want the star to go away. Well, I'll have it. Distinct lack of weaponry in here. Do not like that sound. Oh my lips. You right, Boone? Oh, those things hit hard. Ah. More useless crap. Surely there was an armory or something in here. I saw a red overseer walk around on our floor last night. He looks like he was searching for something and he was mumbling to himself. I saw one of our guys in the mess hall. He pulled a bottle cap off his sunset sarsaparilla and there was some, and then run to his room. I knew he was hiding something, so I broke into his room when he wasn't there and saw a bottle cap. It had a blue star underneath it. I think he's been marked for something, but I can't figure out. All I know is I want that bottle cap. Oh yeah, so everybody who lived here has possibly gone insane and then murdered each other. There's a lot of cameras about. Whew. Somebody has mined the area. Okay, Reds, tell me your side. Voices, I can hear voices through the vents. They sound like the plotting, they sound like the hate. Blues never sit with us. They treat us as if we have a disease. Maybe we do. This whole vault is sick. Well, you got that right. Take your laser rifle off you. And all the microfusion cells. Nothing, nothing. Some blues caused some trouble in the clinic today. I bet they've been stealing drugs. I've heard of events coming on late night. 
Late at night, others have too. I bet they're using drugs to poison us, stealing supplies from the clinic and using them to kill us all. No, I know the truth. The commotion at the clinic, it was a trick. The doctor must be giving them the drugs. She must be in on it. She never leaves her office, so it must be because of the poison being pumped through the vents. Her office must be the only place it's safe. I haven't been able to sleep lately. One of the blues, he's always creeping around the security door. I think he's trying to get in. Ah, the mother load of magnum rounds. That will assist greatly. I've been asking around, there is no reason for his filters to fail. It must have been sabotaged. There's a rumor going around that one of the Reds did it. It wouldn't surprise me. Whenever I talk, walk by a group of them in the cafeteria, they all start whispering. A bit of a plotting on what to do next. Okay. I can hear noises through the intercom. Sometimes Dad says he can't hear it, but I can. It's really high pitched and sometimes I can hear a voice but I can't make out the words. Mum says it's my imagination and that I should stop talking about it. It may worry up other people. I've talked to it with some of the other kids too and they've said they've heard it too. says dynamite. Children's toys. And what remains? Of both of them. Red sector and blue sector are both clear. Uh oh. Hi, folks. No. Yep. Just gonna finish you off. Phew. Laser rifle mods. All right. That's that dealt with. Let's demolish this fucking place. All right. 